which is a mountain that used to be a military base that was never used by the way. It was just here just in case La Coruña ever got attacked. And then in 1999 they made this wonderful park. And the great thing about this park is that it has wonderful views of La Coruña. Isn't it just spectacular? You have La Torre de Hercules, which is the oldest working lighthouse in the world. I'll do a video on it one day pretty soon. So I'll show you all about La Torre. And basically La Coruña is a peninsula. It's totally, almost totally surrounded by water. And it's a lovely place and it's sunny out. And one of the reasons I like it here so much is because it's a small city, but with big character. It offers culture, several art and science museums, and even a planetarium. You have two major urban beaches. Yeah, right in the city. You can go swimming at lunchtime and then go back to work. Shopping here is a must. Hey, this is the home of the world famous Zara. It was born here, just like me. <laughs> People here love to be out in the streets, walking on the promenade that goes all along the coast and which is one of the longest in Europe. But if you're down there and decide you want to take a break and have a coffee, you can take this funicular, which is a panoramic elevator that goes up to the park where we are now and enjoy the views. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just sunbathing here in beautiful La Coruña. Now, you know, La, La Coruña and most of Galicia has a reputation of having terrible weather. Okay, yes, it rains a lot, but it's moderate weather. It's never too cold. It's never too hot. The average yearly temperature is 13 degrees, and it's lovely here. Look, it's, it's sunny. We're in March. We're in the beginning of March, and... I have practically short sleeves on. So, okay, I'm gonna go back to the sun, okay? See you guys. It's nice to come up here and have a coffee. They have a cafe up here and a restaurant, and it's nice to spend an afternoon here. But perhaps you're more into hitting the bars and restaurants. Well, I assure you, you'll be a happy camper here. There are loads of tapas bars and cafes everywhere. People are fun here. They have a lot of fun. They go out. Even if it's raining, they go out. So wonderful nightlife in La Coruña. And it's just a nice environment to live in. Look at the views. Everything is so pretty here. There's just something so energizing about being here. It's hard to describe, but it's just, you step on this sand and you smell the ocean and you listen to the roar of the waves and it's just special. <laughs> it's, just, it's special. So remember I told you guys that La Coruña is a peninsula? Well, I just walked to the other side. I went from where the beach is through the narrowest part of La Coruña, which is only a 10 minute walk, and I end up here at the marina. So I'm right at the other side of the city, and this is where you have all the beautiful sailboats and the fishing boats. This type of architecture is seen repeatedly throughout Galicia, and especially here in La Coruña. The front of the buildings have like a little balcony that is totally encased in glass so this allows the light to come in and the cold to stay out and the wind to stay out this and the tower of hercules are the typical postcards you get of la coruña these houses are called las galerias and aren't they beautiful they almost look like lace each one of these is different so delicate yet they have endured years and years of rough weather the city isn't called the crystal city for nothing so here at the marina you could find the information office, the tourism office of La Coruña. So if you have any questions as to what to see, where to go, just come here and they'll be happy to help you. So like many cities in Spain, there's always a main square. And here in La Coruña we have the square of Maria Pita. This is City Hall right there, that beautiful building. So here we see the representation of the invasion of La Coruña by the English feet. 
The vicious invaders attacked our city and we had to defend ourselves. Da -da -da. But after so much fighting, a lot of our men were injured. But no need to despair because the heroic Maria Pita defended the walls of the city and fought against these vicious men. Maria Pita saved us. And see, she has one of these soldiers at her feet. Ah, she was a vicious woman. Yeah, you go, girl. Okay, so the weather here can be nasty sometimes. Well, that can't be controlled. But you know, you'll find some of the best food you'll ever taste. I'm just quoting some of the visitors. The fish and seafood come fresh daily, except on Mondays. And you can find guaranteed good times, friendly people, and stunning natural surroundings. And now for the best and worst, hoppers, this is definitely the best. And the worst thing about La Coruña is that when the sun is out, it really bothers your eyes. Yeah, it's very annoying. It's really bad. Bye, hoppers. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you soon.